Hey, you, you, yeah, you, come here, quick, quick, come here, come here. So you know all these people that are running the, the vector builds? There's a way to beat them. There's a way to beat them, and there's also a way you can kind of render their build a little bit useless too. So, just, just I, I know, I know, I know, meta is meta, right? Just, just, just chill, hear me out. So, what's going on, guys? It's Ledio, a.k.a. Mr. So Serious. Yes, I know, name change, it's coming, it's coming. We've got the, the new logo and things, there's a few things I need to do. New channel name is coming, so get ready for that. But yeah, today I want to show you guys my assault rifle build. Now the idea for this is to be used at mid-range. You know, kind of get away from the the vector strain clutch combination that seems to be going around at the moment. So the idea for this is to burst those players down as they try to get within range to use their gun. So... Yeah, basically what we're running is a Famous, we have the Chatterbox as secondary, the Chatterbox is literally only there for the holster talent and nothing more. You want to make sure you're running Survivalist as well, because the Survivalist Specialist gives you the Assault Rifle damage. So make sure you have Survivalist equipped and make sure you've unlocked the Assault Rifle damage, otherwise you're not going to be getting the most out of the build. So I'm running 3 D and H. One Fenris, one Gillagard, and one Wyvern. 3D and H is going to give me the plus 5% accuracy, which is going to help because it's going to tighten the reticle, which lowers the bullet spread, which means more bullets are going to hit target. Because you know if you're missing shots, that's 0% crit chance, right? But if you're hitting shots, there's your crit chance. So, yeah, the accuracy is going to help. Then it obviously gives you crit damage and crit chance. The, the Fenris piece will give me 10% assault rifle damage of course the assault rifle is the main weapon so that's pretty important right the Gilligard gives us plus 5% total armor and the wyvern gives us another 7% crit damage so on the dnh piece i currently have skill power and crit hit chance honestly i wouldn't mind getting either armor or health now it is worth noting that the developers have said that Health and armor have the same value. If somebody deals one damage, it will remove one armor. If you have no armor and that same player hits you for one damage, it will remove one health. So they have the exact same value. One isn't more valuable than the other. It only becomes more valuable when you're trying to build a specific way. So if your build is designed around losing armor, spec less harm, armor, more health otherwise it's not overly there's no there's no major difference between them it doesn't really matter which one you go for because they both have the exact same value it's just more around how is your build designed is it designed on you losing armor is it designed on you maintaining armor is it designed more on health only then does it really matter which one you you spec into so yeah so anyway I'd rather have health or skill, uh, health or armor instead of the skill power, but it is what it is. It's what I've got, so I'm making do with it. I did yesterday get this D and H one, which has damage to elites and health, which I could roll the damage to elites for the crit chance. But we got World Tier Five coming soon, so rather than wasting funds and wasting materials, I'm just going to hold off, wait it out, and yeah. The Fenris piece I have gives me crit damage, crit chance, and health. I'm running that with Berserk and self-adjusting. Ideally, I wouldn't mind getting hardened instead of self-adjusting, but, you know, I'm stuck with it, so we're going to have to deal with it, right? The mod that I have is an offensive system and gives me 2% weapon damage and 1.5% critical range. The, uh, the holster is DNH, gives me 12.5% crit hit chance, and then I have that with critical, which gives me 8% critical hit damage. And we're running that with a generic system mod. It's 4.89% uh, critical chance resistance. To my knowledge, that essentially means that, you know, say somebody has, I don't know, 60% crit chance. That will essentially make it 55% if they come up against me because of the, the resistance. That's how I assume it works. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. But yeah. The mods that I have as a whole are pretty bad. And that was for that slot. 
that for the for one for a piece that wasn't being used on another piece of gear, that was the only one that I had to use. So I went with it. But it sounds kind of cool. I'm hoping I can find some gold ones that are like that. But we'll see. The knee pads, again, DNH. They come with 7% critical hit chance. And then they have restorative on them. Now, ideally, I wouldn't mind being able to change this out. I wouldn't mind getting patience. Or even cloaked. I wouldn't mind rolling cloaked on there. But again, because of World Tier 5 coming and a lot of this gear is going to be going, I decided to just hold out and wait. Um, you could also get... Uh, let me see. You can get self-adjusting on there as well. But ideally, I would like to get something like cloaked or patience on there. But 10% health on kill is 10% health on kill. You know, it is what it is, right? So on the gloves, I have health and assault rifle damage rolled onto them, and then they came with surgical, excuse me, 8% crit chance. Now, you could go and try and get clutched on there. Um, you could get, uh, what's the one that gives you plus weapon damage? I forget the name. I forget the name. I've had it. I had one, and I've forgotten the name. But there's one that gives you plus 5% weapon damage. I think it's devastating. Um, you could get that on there as well if you wanted. But these came with surgical, and it's surgical that allows me to cap out my crit chance on my assault rifle. Now the wyvern gives me 7% critical hit damage, of course. And that came with crit chance, crit damage, and it came with headshot damage, but I rolled that out for weapon damage. Now, it's got hardened on there, which is good. That's kind of what I wanted. On the ropes, I do want to swap out, though. I want to swap it out for safeguard. But that would mean essentially lowering, lowering my my damage attributes. I apologise if you just heard the bike going past in the background there. I live on a noisy road, all right. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you if you want to lose some of your crit chance, weapon damage, whatever, you can go with safeguard. Honestly, I think I would go with efficient though, so that when you're using an armor kit, you you've got a chance of of keeping it. You're not going to lose it, you know. Um. And the mod I have on that one is a utility mod, skill power and drone skill power. I didn't give you the mod on the gloves. I have, again, it's a utility, 245 skill power, 1.5 bleed damage, 3% burn damage. Um, did I do the knee pads? We've got weapon damage, assault rifle, critical hit chance. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm running. I didn't show you the weapon mod, did I? So we have the critical hit damage for minus 15% accuracy for the sight. Uh, plus 10% crit chance, minus 10% stability on the underbarrel. And then 20% stability, minus 20% optimal range on the suppressor. And as you can see, like I said before, you can't actually put an extended mag on the Famous. Which is its drawback, but I just like how the gun feels. It's got a decent damage to RPM ratio. So I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm not going to say that it's the best assault rifle to use. But I like how it feels, and I've been enjoying it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. Um, now, almost forgot. I do run the chem launcher heal. For me personally, best heal in the game. Best healing skill in the game is the chem launcher. Now, I have a turret equipped at the moment. I do usually, when I'm running PvP, I'll run it with the Defender Drone. But you don't have to. You can change it up and switch it up as you need to. I usually, I like the, the Defender Drone if I'm trying to pick a sniper off at range. Because quite often, it'll block their bullets and it'll allow me to burst them when they feel confident that I'm going to miss most shots. They don't quite prepare for the stability and accuracy that you still maintain with the gun. And they definitely aren't prepared for the amount of damage output you do with it. So, yeah. Right, so let's get into it. So the non-normalized stats that we get on this gun are 11,494 base damage. We have 60% critical hit chance, 83% critical hit damage, 55% headshot damage. Um, and then if we normalize those stats we still maintain the 60% crit chance we get 79% crit damage so a small reduction and we still have the 55% headshot damage as well 
and the weapon damage drops down to 7157 so about 7.2k so i mean i've used this in the occupied dz it's destroyed i've used this in conflict it's destroyed i've used this in normalized dz it's destroyed so it seems to work all around I'm too lazy to do separate builds for separate modes. You know, I don't want to do an Occupied DZ one and then another PvP build for everything else. Like, I don't want to do that, man. I just want to focus on making good builds that work. And that'd be that. So hopefully they change the way normalization works and it normalizes up instead of down to the middle. And we could all start, you know, just working on builds properly and not having to keep an excessive amount of gear to do two separate builds for two different types of PvP. We can hope, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to link a video in the description or in the comments. I dropped 19 kills in a game of conflict with this build. So I'm going to link that for you to go watch if you want to go watch it. I'm going to stick a couple of clips on as well for you guys to watch. So you can just kind of see the build in action. You can see that it works. And that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. As always, you guys are amazing. If you've been wondering where I've been live streaming because I've not been streaming on YouTube for quite some time now, I actually do stream over on Twitch. It's Mr. So Serious with an underscore at the end. I will leave a link in the description and the comments. Either or, or both, who knows. But a comment will be down below for you guys to, to go drop a follow so you can catch the streams. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys have a great day. Stay awesome. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you using a similar build? Or are you using something completely different? Or have you done the same thing that I've done? Or whatever. Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, man. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace. <laughs> I got one knocked as well. Man, this fucking healing drone sometimes is so annoying. It just doesn't... It it's useless. Do anything. I'm gonna change this up. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking change this up. It's three of them here, man. Oh my lord, oh, dude. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, you got it, bro. I didn't see you get that card. Yeah. Can I get a clip on that, please? The enemy is about to be pulled out. You're too strong for them.